If you're new to using Kodi, or you want to give it a try for the first time on your Fire Stick, Fire Cube, or Fire TV, then this is the video for you. If you want to, one, learn what Kodi is, two, how to install it, and three, how to use Kodi by installing add-ons, this video breaks things down for you step by step. Subscribed on the official Kodi website as a free and open source media player. It allows users to play and view most videos, music, podcasts, and other digital media files from local network storage media and the internet. Basically, it's a little bit like MX Player or VLC Player. It doesn't give you access to any content. Once you've installed it, you'll then have to provide your own content from a local or remote storage location. Kodi allows the installation of official third-party add-ons to access content that is freely available on the content provider's website. Along with the ability to install official third-party add-ons, users can also install unofficial add-ons, and these types of add-ons usually provide access to pirated content, such as movies, TV shows, sports, live TV channels, and more, all for free. Just like any other application, newer versions are released when additional features get added and bugs are fixed. With Kodi, the current version is referred to as the stable version, which right now is 20.0, known as Nexus. To show you how to install Kodi, I'm using an Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K Max, but the same steps apply for the Fire Stick Lite, Fire Stick HD, Fire Cube, Fire Stick 4K, and Fire TVs. Kodi isn't available on the Amazon App Store, you will have to sideload it, and you can install it from my website using the Downloader app. You can get Downloader from the Amazon App Store just search and install it. If you are using the Downloader app, you will need to give permission for Downloader to install apps. Go into your Fire Stick settings, My Fire TV, Developer Options, Install Unknown Apps, and click on Downloader to turn the permission on. Open Downloader and type in 28907, then click Go. Wait a few seconds for my downloads page to load, then press the menu button on your remote and press it again to enter full screen mode. Tap down to view a list of categories and select media players. Then tap down the list and select Kodi. Click here where it says Fire TV including Fire Stick and install the app. You can then go into your apps screen and open Kodi from there. Going back to what I mentioned earlier on in the video, Kodi allows the installation of official third-party add-ons to access content that is freely available on the content provider's website. You can install official add-ons from Crackle, CuriosityStream, Court TV Live, Fox News, MLB TV, NASA, NewsOn, Plex, Pluto, Popcorn Flix, YouTube, and more. Any of these add-ons can be installed in just a few simple clicks. Here's how. This is the Kodi home screen. And from here, just tap up to the cog icon at the top of the screen to get to the system menu. From here, select add-ons. Then from this list, select Install from Repository. Next, tap down to near the bottom to find and select Video Add-ons. Listed here are all of the official video streaming add-ons that you can choose from. If you like, you can pause the video and take some time to have a good look through them. When you've found an add-on that you want to install, in this example, I'm choosing Pluto TV. 
just select it and then on the next screen, hit the install button. Then select OK. You'll see the add-on downloading and then installing. When it's done, you'll see a little check mark will appear next to the add-on name. To open your add-on, go all the way back to the Kodi home screen. Just keep tapping the back button on your remote several times until you get there. When you do get there, tap down the menu on the left to highlight over add-ons. You'll then see your video add-ons listed to the right. Just tap across the screen and select the add-on to open it. You can then navigate through the menus and categories, browsing and clicking to find what to watch and start streaming. Now, before we finish this video, there are a few tips that I want to share with you that will be especially helpful to those of you that are new to using Kodi. So don't leave just yet. Firstly, when you want to exit the stream, click with your remote and press the stop button on screen. Otherwise, if you just press the back button on your remote, the stream will continue to play in the background. And secondly, if you don't want the hassle of going back through all of the menus to get access to the content you watch the most, whether that be a live TV channel from Pluto TV or a TV show or movie from Plex, you can add anything to your favourites by finding what you want to watch, then highlight over it, press and hold the centre button on your remote until a menu pops up. Choose Add to Favourites from the list to add it. Now all of your favourites from any add-on can be found from the Kodi home screen. Tap down to Favourites on the left and access your favourites on the right. If this video helped you, then let me know by typing Kodi in the comment section down below and share this video with anyone else you think might be interested in learning more about Kodi.